What's up everybody? It's your girl Jay, your favorite goddess coach, and I want to let you know that you cannot BBL, inject, Botox, and put makeup on your energy. Your energy just is what it is. <laughs> Now, I want to talk to you guys about this concept, right? Because I just want to make sure you guys understand because I know a lot of the times in the feminine part of YouTube, there usually sometimes can be a hyper focused on the outside, the external, how you talk, how you look, how you dress, which is so important. I'm not going to downplay it. You know, there's a masculine, there's a yin and a yang, there's a balance of polarity and everything, right? However, other than that, what you guys need to understand is that you can look, dress, talk as feminine as you want to, but if you don't actually become feminine on the inside, it's not gonna do anything and you're not really gonna see the results that you truly want. Results meaning attracting guys that you really like. Results meaning getting to a state of inner peace. Results meaning be able to receive your blessings in this life. Results meaning being able to tap into your sensuality to the deepest divine level. Because when you're so focused on the external, you forget about the actual juice, the actual depth, which really is the story of the divine feminine. The yin part, right, the divine feminine and energy and principle is about going within and stop, you know, focusing so much on your external and external this, external that, but coming back into yourself and recognizing that the answers that you're looking for are actually within you. And it sounds all woo woo and unclear and whatever the case is because it's meant to be that way. It's not meant to be clear cut and this is the step by step process and this is, you know, how to activate your feminine energy in three steps. We do it because, you you know that's how we try to teach and how to guide but honestly the only person who can truly activate your divine feminine energy is yourself because each and every one of us has a different life a different history and a different energetic blueprint and stuff like that yes we want to wear pretty dresses and you know take care of ourselves we don't want to walk around smelly and you know not taking care of our hygiene we don't want to have those things out of whack but you cannot bbl botox put makeup on and put clothes on your energy if you really want the results in your life where you want to receive you want to be that goddess like where you really are like living your best life where you're having it all right they say that women can't have it all that's a freaking lie because first of all our definition of all is going to look different on each and every individual all is going to look different to me than it looks to you but in a certain level we all have these certain main sectors in our life that we usually want things from like our love life our family life our financial life and our career and fight and our career life <laughs> so we can have that right we can definitely have that but you won't be able to have it if you don't do the inner work and what does that mean that means going back into the subconscious right 95% of your brain power is subconscious it is the subconscious mind that dictates our beliefs our behavior what we're attracted to and what we're not attracted to you know it's the part of us that breathes without thinking how to breathe we just naturally breathe it's the part of us that sleeps without having to think about sleeping because we're sleep right it's all unconscious it's all automated it's just how we move and how we function but the funny part of about the subconscious it's the part of us that's unaware I like to view the subconscious almost like a snapchat filter or an Instagram filter that we put over our eyeballs it's our it's the lens that we put over our, our eyes and it's how we view the world and depending on how clear your lens is and how much your lens is actually on your side or against you this is going to change the way that you interact with the world which naturally is going to change the way that you attract things towards you because attraction always happens on a subconscious level especially that chemical attraction where we're just drawn to people and we don't know why we just want to go here and we don't know why this is always happening on the subconscious level so babe yes 
you can look good. I want you to look good. I want you to, you know, slay. Honestly, a lot of you guys are always asking me to make videos about, you know, makeup and hair. And I want to do more of that. So comment down below if you guys are interested in seeing more of that side of myself as well. Like my self-care rituals and like, you know, stuff like that. However, that's why I stress the internal so much on my channel because I see that sometimes we can get so focused on the external, especially even from the standpoint of like the video I made the other day where we're talking so much about, oh my God, my city, my city just has no men that are good for me. Oh my God, my city just has no opportunities. You need to understand that you are the magnet and the opportunities always come to you. And if you're subconscious, your inner, in your, your inner work and understanding is not giving it it's not in alignment with what you want you're gonna be attracted to men who are going to mess your life up like you're literally gonna be drawn and turned on to men who don't give you what you need because you don't feel like you're worthy of it or you have a definition of that's what love means in your mind yeah <laughs> Okay, but lucky for you, I literally just made a course and I know people are like, oh, I'm so serious, guys. Like, I'm very passionate about this course and very passionate about this work because if you do this work, you will literally change your life. It doesn't matter necessarily what you look like. Your energy and how you move and how you function and how you automate yourself and how you go throughout the world and how you act, you stop acting and you start being when you actually do the inner work. You don't have to act feminine. You can naturally just be feminine you don't have to define femininity as this one little box you can express your femininity as it naturally wants to bubble out inside of you right so you can become more attractive when you do the inner work and I don't think people make that you know understanding all the time that's why I made this course goddess of worth because if you do the inner work that that course is all about it literally guides you on how to start to redirect and reframe and redo and just you know re ch change your life in the best way okay when you can start clearing out these negative limiting beliefs and replacing them with positive beliefs guys it will literally change your life so check out the course goddess of worth um also check out the course psychic secrets of seduction if you're trying to increase your energetic attraction where it doesn't even necessarily matter what you dress like once again you can walk in the room looking like anything and people are just going to be drawn to you because it's your energy it's your aura and even if it's not instant people will still kind of somehow find themselves looking at you paying attention to you having conversations because your energy is so vibrant and there's different things that you can do to activate this energy like yoga like meditations like inner work like you know other spiritual things that I'm not gonna name <laughs> right now because you know that's tea so yes definitely check out that course all down below in the description and if you do want to work with me one-on-one -on -one, I do have spots available for that check that out as well it's very exclusive I don't work with just anyone and uh yeah <laughs> but yes guys you can't BBL your energy stop trying to and here's the second layer of this energy too so the first layer was understanding your energy triumphs it all the second layer is I don't want people to think that changing the external is going to help you feel good about yourself if you don't do the inner work first or in conjunction with changing your external now I don't necessarily have anything against plastic surgery and makeup and hair and all this stuff because girl like I mean hello hello like I love that too however when it comes to that a lot of the times people will do the surgery or they'll do stuff to change you know their body to feel good about themselves and they look in the mirror and they still find themselves disgusted they still find themselves not in the place that they want to be when they look at themselves in the mirror they still can't recognize their beauty they still can't recognize their attractiveness and their sacredness and their purity and their you know just worthiness of love because it's not the external that's causing that feeling it's the inside you got to go back within and you got to really learn how to heal and that's what I love to talk about too especially
actually um, I talk to and coach a lot of women who are in you know the celebrity industry like the celebrity life right and also like in the OnlyFans industry sometimes it's like we'll focus so hard on like changing our physical appearance so that we can you know attract certain people but the relationships that we attract end up not being fulfilling right because they're reflecting back to us the part of ourselves that doesn't feel worthy so I want you guys to really do this work to ask yourself where are you when it comes to actual true security within yourself how secure do you feel about yourself and you know recognizing that you are perfect just as you are and you don't have to try too hard to be worthy to be um, worthy of the best you are already you know a goddess right that's what I really want you guys to get down packed with inside you as well so um that's what I had to say with this video check out the courses down in the description box they're really gonna help I, I just truly believe that they're gonna help transform a lot of y'all's lives out there so I'm so excited to even go live with you guys on that course as well and just to tap in with y'all and to see y'all feedback. Follow me on Instagram too at it's baby J and on TikTok at it's baby J. Yes, I have joined the TikTok crew. Your girl's trying to be hip. <laughs> But yeah, tell me how you guys feel about this topic. Um, understand that it wasn't coming from a place of being against, you know, surgery and like physical alterations and physical things itself. It's actually coming from a place of love and I just really want you guys to feel good about yourself regardless of how you look like, feel good, right? And both of these things are helping each other. You're not trying to fix the external to fix your internal. You're amplifying your internal and amplifying your external because when you amplify your internal, you will naturally amplify amplify your external because you're gonna have the resources to do it right because you're gonna be abundant so you're gonna have the money to dress well when you're abundant on the inside you'll have people actually lavishing you and blessing you and giving you nice things so then you don't have to like stress as much in your life because you're protected and cared for by you know the men and people in general in your life when you're abundant on the inside naturally your your skin starts to glow you just start having that you know that glow so you know so you don't have to try too hard to be attractive right so yeah check out psychic secrets of seduction goddess of work i might even throw them in a bundle if you guys want a discount like that but tell me how you guys feel about this topic all right i'll talk to you soon peace